it's Warren Dent with Zen Pro Audio. Welcome to Zen TV Weekly. It is the week of January the 3rd, 2011. Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We really did around here and got really covered up uh, for a while, so glad to be back. Some of the deals we got going on this week, the Peluso 2247 SE. This is the American Tube version of John Peluso's uh, modern U47. Um, wonderful microphone, great detailed tube mic. Just has a smooth sound to it though as well. I've got a limited quantity of those with kind of an add to cart deal you have to go over to the site to check out right now. So just a few of those available to ship. When they're gone, those are gone. Rupert Neve Designs, we actually just had a price decrease across virtually the entire line. Um, I've also got some demo units though from Rupert Neve and the EQ compressor as well as the preamp. This is stuff that was used in the clip later here locally and it is dirt cheap. Uh, very limited quantities of that available if you want to snap those up as well. Slate Pro Audio, they've extended the $50 rebate on the Dragon until the end of February, which is very cool. Uh, the Dragon is Stephen Slate's take on the 1176 with some cool filtering switches um, and EQ circuits to give you more vintage and bright kind of tones. Very nice stuff. You should go check it out in the clip later. Mohog Audio, the Mofet 76 units, they are here. They are in stock, they are shipping, and they are beautiful. Um, we've got our Zen Pro style blue, as well as the ebony stained walnut. Just looks just really fantastic. I wrote a note on the Mofet 76 page that you should go check out about how to turn your Mofet 76 into a one knob compressor. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm combining the four to one ratio with the 12 to one ratio. Slowest attack, fastest release time, and the amount of control that you can get out of this thing, very reminiscent of like the LA-3A. It just will flat out level stuff in a very cool and controlled way without getting pumpy. It stays real smooth. So uh, that Mofet 76 just keeps impressing me, impressing me with its performance. And also that Carnhill Transformer is some really sweet stuff. New stuff that's shipping right now. Everybody has been asking. The Golden Age Comp 54. When are you going to do the mod? Well, we've got the mod. We actually finalized testing for the final version today, which replaces all three of the stock Transformers with Carnhill brand, which is formerly St. Odds. And I gotta say, this mod is really even more revealing in a lot of ways versus the Pre-73 in that there's this presence and detail and a punch that's delivered with the Carnhill stuff that makes the stock one sound a little bit round, a little bit kind of closed up by comparison. The cool thing is, I actually have both units, a stock and a fully modded, loaded into the Clipolator gear test page on our site right now so that you're hearing the identical compressor action, but you're going through totally different transformers. So we have an introductory price on that right now of $299, which is very strong for replacing all three of the transformers. I don't know how long we'll be able to hang on to that, but I'll do it as long as I can. So the mod is here. Uh, the transformers are on order, so you can go ahead and place your orders with us now. Stuff that's starting to ship also, the Retro Power Strip. I had the chance to handle one of these units uh, before having to ship it back out, and I was able to add the compressor to the clip later. Man, uh, really cool stuff. Just go use your ears and check it out. The EQ section in there, uh, Phil from Retro has confirmed, there is not one bit of difference between the 2A3 and the Poltec style EQ that is in the power strip. So that is just really exciting stuff that you get this great airy detailed uh, preamp section, which will do line or mic in. And also check out the video that I made in the clip later. You'll actually see me pulling the the input gain knob out. There is a second gain stage in there that he's cooked up that has this really round, saturated tone. And even for now, I went ahead and put a, a file in there that you'll see that will say null file. And what I did was I actually ran the female vocal through the clean version and then a distorted version. And I thought that the null was very interesting in that it leaves this bright, just hairy sort of saturation that is some really pleasing distortion. So that second um, uh, distortion you know, phase that you're able to put that unit into, very, very useful stuff. So you really need to go check out the clip later. I've got some great stuff that's been added there just in the last couple of weeks. Anyway, that's all the hot stuff I can think of that's going on at Zen Pro Audio right now. As always, click on contact us on the page and I'm more than happy to get you personally taken care of. And keep in mind, we work very hard around here to bring you gear now and Zen.
things. 